What is up guys this is Karan here welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel Newton OS a ASP base room with atomic stuff is available for two devices mainly Redmi Note 8 and Redmi Note 7 I'll provide the link in the description for both of the devices and if you're using any other device GSA options are always available how about Newton OS how's the performance how's this room is it have some customization features or not and yes it has a pure AOSP experience nothing like the pixel one so no pixel launcher at all no pixel icons nothing else no extra pixel features also but it has very cool kind of features uh, actually not extra customization features but still it's quite good in the terms of some little bit of things i'll show you everything in this video make sure to watch this video till the end let's get okay so guys let's start with the home screen first of all as i already told you it does not come with a pixel launcher pre-installed it has the p404 launcher let me show you by going into settings so that you get an idea which launcher is pre-installed i have also installed the launcher uh, to check out how the things going on that that was perfectly it is a p404 or you can say project 404 launcher pre-installed which has some little bit of customization features including the add icons to home screen it also supports the icon pack options so i have applied the nexa icon pack to check out how this works and that works very cool also has some little bit of extra customization features like the show gradient on top and show gradient on bottom and also you can customize your columns and rows in the app drawer so these are the things quite good and quite impressive about the default launcher which i personally liked about including the launcher it also has some ui changes which are those ui changes first of all the volume panel the volume panel is quite good and a little bit of uniqueness is here as you can see it's not same like the other aosp base rooms the volume panel is very cool and very interesting also if we talk about this this is also a kind of uh, this dismiss icon which is clear all button from oxygen os which also looks kind of impressive thing other things as i already told you i already have applied the icon pack which is next icon pack let me show you it also have the wallpaper apps pre-installed what is that wallpaper app that's called wall drops this is the app which is pre-installed and i have applied just now the theme the wallpaper from this app and as i already told you this app is quite good and quite impressive it, it has very cool collection of wallpapers present here and you can use any wallpaper directly from here for for example if i want to choose this super user wallpaper superheroes wallpaper it has very huge collection of wallpapers options available you can apply any wallpaper from here as a wallpaper app pre-installed is quite impressive in my case because i personally choose third-party wallpaper apps for getting quite cool wallpapers so on my home screen because i want to use some cool kind of wallpapers and this room comes with the pre-installed app called wardrop so this issue with for me is quite good it's not available here i can choose any wallpaper if i wanted to all kind of the same thing as i already shown you so that's a asp based room nothing to show you but in the settings we don't have any customization features let me i already shown you by the way that it does not come with any customization features but yes it has a little bit of features when you go to the system and go to the buttons here you can customize your buttons like invert layout which i already applied i personally choose these navigation bar keys nowadays because it's quite easy while using your device instead of full screen gestures sometimes that the ime spacer behind the default keyboard is also quite annoying in sometimes some cases so it's better to use these kind of keyboard these kind of navigation keys which i personally use right now i can also choose these kind of options like the home long press action and home double tap action if i wanted to and show arrow keys while typing also it has the power menu customizations which includes the screenshot so i can enable screenshot right now directly from here other things the control playback and show panel on left which is kind of not working as you can see i have applied this one now it's here so let's try once again it's not working at all i don't know why in my case or everywhere but yes as you can see i just have enabled the option to show the volume panel on the left side but it's not working at all this is in my redmi note 8 maybe in your redmi note 7 that will work perfectly fine but in my case in my device it is kind of a bug a little bit of bug it's not that much annoying but yes bug is bug 
talking about the status bar it has the ampm style clock customization status bar icons nothing else to show you almost kind of the same things when you go to the gestures option we have the system navigation prevent ringing jump to camera and uh, these kind of lift to check phone the one option which is missing from here which i was missing is this three button screenshot it's not available here why I am seriously missing this feature because that might be there. I don't like to use the screenshot option from here. I personally choose these kind of features, but that's not working. This is kind of a main thing. This should be present here, but it's not present. Okay. All other things are kind of the same thing. You can simply go to the display and go to your styles and wallpapers where you can create your own style if you want to. And also you can customize your fonts. When you go to the custom option, you have a lot of fonts options available too. So any font, like you can choose that one going to next to also have the icons customization like the same theming in avsp based rooms the colors and these kind of things almost kind of the same thing these were the things i just wanted to share with you nothing to show you also fonts icon shape and s and colors all the things i have already shown you it's good in the terms of performance and if you talk about the geekbench score let me show you the geekbench score also if you're a redmi note 8 user the geekbench score is not that much bad 313 is the single core score and 1300 07 is the multi core score the score might be changed because of the rams because i'm using the 4 gb variant 64 gb and 4 gb if you're using a 6 gb variant or if you're using a 3 gb variant might be there will be some differences there but normal average 313 and 1307 is quite good and that's not bad also you can use this build as in your daily driver also but if you compare it with the bootleggers, the resurrection namings and pixel experience, those rooms are far better. In my case, I'm not saying this is bad ROM, but this is not that much qualifying with these with those legendary rooms. Hope so we'll get some good updates and we will soon get this build is quite good too. Now this is all from today's video. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.